got brutal on the scene, wicked and mean You know the jump shot clean, keep it a beam And in the lane, baby, flow the soft with a lean And when you put me on the block, call me the dream Wood up, wood up, it's your boy You don't know brutal, see on the scene, wicked and mean with a neck Video for y'all, man. So y'all know how this y'all Bruce Squad stand up. We out here, man. We in the building. We in the building. Anyone y'all got the notification bell unlocked? Just put Bruce Squad in the comment section, man. I do appreciate y'all, man. Y'all know how it is a grind old stop. And I got some info for y'all, man. And it's gonna be a little different from my normal format. You know how it is. Usually I read up tweets out read off show you all the information i got but this time i had to take notes ronnie went live in the stream and not only he went live in the stream i went over the trailer and got some info that a lot of people won't be speaking about i promise y'all i got the tea <laughs> but anyways man now as i said i don't know what's gonna be in the background might just be the trailer of course or might be some gameplay from the demo but let's get to the info now ronnie highlighted something man and i ain't gonna front 2k really trying to buy us over man i ain't gonna front they're trying really hard i know a lot of things oh the same parks i don't care about the parks man about the features for me about the gameplay and this feature right here is amazing and you see i got notes right here y'all think i'm playing i got notes man but anyway now he spoke about the respect feature the, the ability to really um, redo your player if you made a mistake you could come back and apply attributes he said no nah, it's not only that it's not only that you could choose a different archetype if you think you made a mistake with that first archetype so there's no use for no rebirth and not only that you don't need VC you're not gonna lose VC he said other games that use this feature, usually you, you, you lose some of your VC, so you gotta spend some VC to respect, but not as much. But here, no VC needed. You're not gonna lose any VC in the process of respecting your player or redoing your player. Yo, that is win-win right there, man. I know 2K got a reputation for being money hungry and the whole nine, but this is definitely a move in the right directions. Now, now we got something on top of that. He said clothes. Clothes is transferable as well. So now, all I gotta do is buy myself that one pair of Jordans. You know I'm frugal, man. Y'all know I gotta save my VC. I gotta buy that one pair of Jordans and it's all my players could wear this Jordan. Now, that's not surprising. No one's looking at the rep system and he did highlight in the stream that the rep system is similar to NBA 2K17 bars. <laughs> now, <laughs> he highlighted it right, like, similar to 2K17. So you know how a lot of the stuff we unlock was clothing, was mascots, and that would go across the board because the overalls wasn't really that important. It seemed like that's the same framework that 2k is working with right now right so it's understandable that now clothing is transferable and a lot more things will be transferable as well like the when you buy a bike like when you buy um the mascot and all that gonna be transferable man so shout out man i, I, I can't complain about this now a lot of people are asking what's what can we expect next week he said like the momentous trailer and we're gonna get a bunch of news dropping from saturday from saturday the news roll out every day that day check out your boy don't forget man hit that bell i got y'all y'all know how it is man i got y'all with the early morning tea man so now he did hint at a new feature to come he did not break it down in detail but he did say this new feature it will kind of involve your player but it's a new feature separate out of everything and a lot of people gonna be playing it man so that's all i got for that i'm not gonna stay long on that by only playing my career you could get your 99 but 
but it's not as important. He said, even when you look at the fluctuation between the 95 and 99, depending, like, you know, it's going to fluctuate based on your performance. He said, it's going to fluctuate your overall, but when it comes to your rep, you cannot lose rep. Once you gain rep, you keep going up. You will never lose any rep. So you ain't got to worry about repping down with who you play. So it's all about getting the games in. And I think that would kind of affect, you know, that would kind of lessen down people running. Because if you was repping down, man, damn, whew, we would have been up in a trap meet. <laughs> For real to try to get someone to play. Now, one thing I noticed, right, with the 99s from 2K19, that someone asked why why we didn't receive all our, our stuff yet the sneakers and the free copy and he was like yo they cannot ship out anything to the 99s without the game they having copies of the game in the office and currently there is no copies of the game in the office and as soon as they get there it was package them out and ship them to the 99 so if you worry then you one of those 99s he said don't worry as soon as the copies get in there he will handle us okay all right so yes we can look forward to that all right all all no life squad i guess um someone came into the stream and someone said yo what about that penthouse y'all got now and he was like yo you know that so he kind of hinted at a new penthouse coming to nba 2k20 new penthouse now I don't know if it's an unlockable one if you gotta do certain things to get this penthouse similar to 2K17 or 16 it was. But he said there's a new penthouse coming to NBA 2K20. Someone asked him in the stream about the backpacks. Will there be any additional features? And he said yes. He believes there'll be some additional features, but he don't want to speak on it too much. But he did. Someone come back and asked, yo, would we be able to change? our gear and our clothing while on the court and he said well that might be a good feature for the backpack so he just hinting at some stuff right there man and i don't want to stay on it too much but yes now this is something i saw this is something outside of the stream we stepping outside of that right now and this is something i saw while looking over the trailer multiple times in slow motion now look at the two bike scenes the bike scene where he had the two people on the bike, I don't know the type of bike, of course. And and the next one where he had the the I forget what you call the short triple three-wheel bike. I forgot that tricycle bike. I forgot the name of that. But on those two scenes, the stars are lined up the same exact way with swags, the my team, and usually where the foot locker is at. There is no longer foot locker there so the store has been replaced with the nba 2k20 shoe store so um and i found it funny that in the trailer remember the first trailer when they were showing a my career and that dude was in the um the store with the designer it was a shoe store but it was not the foot locker store so now when i look over at this trailer i saw it i, I saw it like what's going on here that's like okay I saw it again and I saw it more clearly that it was the NBA 2K20 foot shoe store. So um, I think the Foot Locker store is no longer associated with the NBA. And y'all could come back if y'all find it in NBA 2K20. Or y'all could just say, yeah, you were right as usual. Like you 90% of the time, right. Right. 10 times is, I don't know when. But anyways, one look going over the trailer. I was looking at the unlockables as you wrap up in the park and I got a few important stuff here that y'all might want to know now there's a and this is early this is early which I think is weird it seems like you have the ability to perform in your own DJ setup and you're gonna un un unlock it early in the park wrap now that's gonna be interesting to see man and i'm sure it's probably gonna be like the beat setup that you had access to before the dj setup that you had to go in a particular spot and do it or the one where you had in the my court in 2k19 but i think this time you actually have access to it in the park now how would that work 
<laughs> that's gonna be interesting as hell man i'm just putting this out there. that's gonna be interesting as hell if you go look over the trailer and pause it right on the spot you'll see it said perform in the neighborhood man that's gonna be interesting as hell now i noticed that a lot of stuff we will get with wrapping up your overall you're gonna get it now with wrapping up in the park for example um going shirtless right now you gotta get to um superstar one to go shirtless it's no longer associated with your rep so you could be a 99 and still ain't got a choice but wearing a shirt man that's what i'm saying i'm gonna have to be in the park a lot more this time around man because i love being shirtless yo i ain't gonna front i don't even like wearing shirts at home i gotta put on a shirt to put this video on as soon as i'm done shirt off i'm not playing that i hate shirts if y'all notice, anytime I start wearing a shirt in 2K, I never go back to wearing a shirt. I don't care what it is, right? So, yes, oh, that might change a little bit by some further news that I'm going to be giving y'all. Anyways, I got to tell you, I got some info for y'all. Now, the next thing that you will earn is the Gym Rat Badge. Gym Rat. You see, they said no more lifting, right? And you'll unlock that as Superstar 3. But you, you saw when um, 2K released some images early that you had to go at least once a week or something like that and, and do some stuff in the gym to keep your strength up or to help get more strength and I think speed or agility or something like that. And certain things you had to go in the gym at least once a week and go through a workout routine or something like that. So. Uh, when you get to Superstar 3, no more of that, man. I tell y'all, man, we're going to have to be on this grind this part this year, man. I'm looking for some killers, man. Some killers. But anyway, this is a feature I asked for in my wish list, y'all. This is a feature I asked for in my wish list. I was like, yo, please bring back customizable shirts, man. Please give us the ability to create these customizable shirts. And guess what? They answered. They answered. They answered. You will have to get to Elite 2 to unlock this feature though, right? When you go and check in the trailer and pause it where you, where you right off the screen and you're going to see Elite 2, you're going to be able to create and customize your own t-shirt. And that's and at that Elite 2, you will also unlock Double BC. I can't be mad at that. I can't be mad at that. Now, last but not least, at Elite 3, you'll unlock the mascots. Now, hopefully, 2K. Hopefully, I ain't gonna front with y'all, man. I was hella upset, 2K19. The moment I put on a mascot, it's like I was running in mud. Now, hopefully, y'all got these mascots right. Y'all heard the complaints. Y'all heard us be upset. I waste a million. 200 stacks in VC on four mascots. Four. How much time I play on it? With it. I could count it on my probably my two hands, man. Out of thousands of game I played. That's tough. That's that's bad. That that's rough, man. Come on, man. But anyways, man, that's all I got for y'all, man. So a quick, let's quick, let's go over it real quick again. Um stuff you unlock is not linked necessarily to your overall most of the important stuff you will have to hit that park up but you can get to 99 overall in my career next thing Foot Locker from what it seems like is no longer associated with NBA 2k20 which means it's no longer associated with the NBA I'm just putting this out we could expect a new penthouse <laughs> we could expect a new penthouse that's that's that, that's that's top notch and respect to respect your place you don't need any more vc and not only you could move around the attributes you could actually change the archetype of your player all right so let me know what y'all think man you got some more information i went over man so the video is long enough way longer than i really thought i wanted it to be but you know how it is i gotta keep y'all up to date early morning tea you know i got y'all if you're first time to the channel don't forget like the video share the video hit your boy your subscribe really bro why you gotta be at bro come on man 
Bro, get the echo right, bro. Why I always gotta tell you that, man? All right, you ready now? You ready? All right, let me try it again. Hit your boy a subscribe. If it's not your first time, like the video, share the video. You never know who's gonna be informed. Your boy Sam, one love, respect, y'all. Bless up. Peace. Peace. Was it that difficult, bro? Why, why you always, why you trying to stress me out? You start get your head big, people start liking you, you start get popular. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, I gotta beg you to do what you do, huh? I'm gonna replace you, Echo. I'm gonna, I right. keep acting up. You keep acting up.